Secrets of Spanish Florida uncovers stories of America's past that never made it into the textbooks. WJCT is proud to feature additional local stories from Florida's history. Well, we're at Tolomato Cemetery in St. Augustine, Florida. Tolomato actually began as an Indian mission sometime in the early 1700s. Then it actually became a cemetery, purely cemetery use in 1777 when the Menorcans arrived. Of course, the Menorcans had been brought here by uh, Dr. William Turnbull to New Smyrna Beach in 1769. They were theoretically indentured servants, but they were actually treated as slaves and they finally rebelled. So they rebelled and came up here, and the governor at the time, the British governor, Governor Patrick Tonin, uh, gave them permission to come into the city. They'd come with their priest, Father Pedro Camps. They lived actually mostly in this part of town. Father Camps went to them and asked for permission to use this as a cemetery. So then it became a cemetery. Basically, uh, the, the uh, cemetery was used by the Menorcans, and then when the Spanish came back for the second Spanish period in 1784, then it became the parish cemetery for the uh, parish that is now the Cathedral Basilica. There are about a thousand people buried here. There is only 105 markers though, and this is partly because a lot of the markers, the original ones were wood. There is no order in this cemetery. <laughs> there are no numbered plots, there's, there's nothing like that and all of our information comes from the parish records. The uh, Menorcans probably constitute the largest single group, and I would say probably at least two-thirds or so of people here are not the original Menorcans, but Menorcans of, of um, a people of Menorcan descent. We, we think of this cemetery as sort of a concentration and at the same time a cross-section of our history. The uh, People buried here come from all over. People who fought on either side, both sides of the Civil War, buried here. We have some of the freedmen on, uh, who were the African-American soldiers. We have, of course, lots of Menorcans. And a lot of times the names you will see are the same. Anything that happened in St. Augustine has left its record here in some way or another. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Lastinger Family Foundation the Ha Family Foundation, Weaver Family Foundation Fund through the Community Foundation for Northeast Florida, and the Joy McCann Foundation. Funding for Secrets of the Dead is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.